All right. Welcome to the first edition of these social media audits or whatever we decide to call them uh, in the next few weeks here. My name is Kalita and I will be auditing uh, Jim's social media accounts and hopefully giving helpful feedback and advice to these gyms so that they can improve their social media game and hopefully at the end of the day get more leads. Um, every week I do this, um, so if you would like to participate, please feel free to do so. I put the link in the show notes here so that you can do that exact same thing and I can audit your gym's social media and like I said, hopefully at the end of the day, get you more leads. So here we go. I've got Crush NTX here. Uh, this is Melissa, and we are going, Melissa's gym, and we're going to audit this. I haven't looked at this beforehand, um, so here we go. So we've got a logo up here, Crush NTX. We've got a little bit of a description, and then we can go through um, some of these posts here. So first things first, at first glance, um, this logo isn't a circular logo, so it doesn't really fit in here. Not a huge deal, but I would probably get something that looks a little bit more like it's meant to be here. Um, and then we've got Crush NTX. Um, probably in your name, I would put the fitness or gym or something like that, just so that people know that you're a gym. You do fitness because Crush NTX is not a big descriptor. So when it comes across someone's screen, Crush NTX probably doesn't mean anything to them. Um, you've got gym and physical fitness centers. So that's great in there. We're a locally owned and operated fitness facility. We believe in fitness. We believe fitness is for everyone. Okay, that's okay. Um, but what I would do in this portion here is describe who you serve and how. Um, so do you serve moms? Do you serve busy corporate um, busy corporate people? Do, who do you serve and how do you serve them? Uh, and then you've got a call to action here, which is directly to your website. Um, and I'll explain why that's a little bit of a problem here as we go through some of these posts. So I'm just going to go through a couple of posts at the beginning here. We've got this first one that says, what does it say here? Make time, stay fit. And then we've got, we know life is busy. We get it. So we're here to help you stay on track, stay fit, even if your schedule is limited. Ask us how our team um, of professionals can help you make sure you stay Make sure you make time to stay healthy, stay active, stay fit. Visit our website uh, to learn more about our schedule uh, and schedule your free intro today. So a couple of things that I've been proved here. One, this this is awesome. This photo and the like the the colors and the the words on the page, like they're on brand, which is really nice. But it's the text is not compelling enough to get someone to click this. So I would probably tell a little bit more of a story about this person or have a little bit of a better hook in there. Um, so something like, none of us can manage our schedules properly. The new year is super busy. You know, so something that would hook and, and um, grab people's attention so that they can then be like, oh, yeah, that's relatable and they can keep reading then. OK, um, yeah, just just saying like we know life is busy. We get it is probably not enough to, to get someone to come in. So, um, yeah, I would I would think about a little bit of a better hook there. And then, of course, um, you've got schedule your free intro today and then you just put the link here. This link is not clickable on Instagram. So you want to direct somebody to the link in bio um, so that they can schedule their free intro there because this is doesn't tell people enough about what to do. If this comes across someone's screen as they're scrolling, they are not going to be able to quickly take action on this because you're not telling them exactly what to do. Okay, so then when we go back to the link in bio here, this goes directly to your website, which is over here, which we'll go through in a minute. But on your website, you're not telling people, um, like when you just put the link for your website in here, you're not telling someone exactly what to do when they get there. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll explain the website here in a minute. Now, when we go through um, the social media posts here, um, everything looks on brand, which is really cool. We've got this purple, this green, um, oops, purple and green, and, and you know things seem to be pretty on brand here. Now, I do see some holiday hours. Um, I see like some, oh, this schedule is probably pretty good. But um, the, these holiday hours, I would not put this kind of stuff on my public social media. I would keep it on my internal. So you've got internal and external marketing. Internal marketing is for your current clients. 
And you can tell them about schedule changes. You can tell them about like changes that are coming in the gym, but you don't want to tell your prospects that. Reason being is it just gives your prospect another excuse not to book with you, right? They're like, oh, they're closed Christmas day. You know, like I want to go to the gym on Christmas day. This must not be the place for me. That sentence is not likely to happen, but you know what I mean. Anytime there's like an internal change that doesn't really affect the external world, don't put it on social media. Keep that stuff internal. Um, but yeah, ever, otherwise, like things look pretty good here. Um, you know, I haven't taken a look at every single one of these posts, so uh, just kind of keep that in mind. We go over to Facebook here, okay? And now we've got a logo up here. We've got the same logo or a similar logo as to what's on Instagram. Um, this logo might look better on Instagram. I'm not sure, but it's very similar. So at least your branding is consistent between the two platforms. Um, I might change this because it's a little blurry. You know, maybe there's a, a nice photo of inside your gym. Like these photos are really cool. So I wonder if you could put something like that on here with like a nice little logo in there or a logo in the background or, or something like that. So uh, really quick, we'll go through the intro. Crush NTX, Crush NTX is a locally owned and operated fitness facility. We believe that fitness is for everyone. So I would just update the intro in both places um, just to tell people who you serve uh, and how. And then we've got all of your information in here. You've got reviews. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We go through this first post here. So it looks like you're pushing from Instagram to Facebook, which is totally a-okay. Um, but again, like, like this link is live, which is great, but it's not live on Instagram. So just like keep that in mind. Typically what I recommend is write your post for Instagram, say link in bio. And then once you push it to Facebook, quick go, go in there, update the link so that it's live on Facebook as well. Really easy, really simple. Okay. So yeah, um, you know, we probably need to, instead of just asking people to sign up for programs, we need to tell people like why these programs are awesome for them, what they can do for them. Like, so we just need to tell people more of a story about the benefits versus the features because we're doing a lot of feature talk here and not a lot of benefit talk. Okay. All right. So now we'll go over to the website. So if I click this link, this will just take me to the homepage of the website. Okay, so let's let's confirm that. Right. Okay. So it takes me to the home page. Okay. If I direct someone straight to this home page, it doesn't necessarily tell me exactly what to do. Now it does say book a free intro, but that might not be enough information between the post on Facebook that told me about the feature and then asking for uh, the free intro right away. It's just not enough. Okay. Because I might need to know, like, I wonder if they can help me look good naked. I wonder if they can help me with my janky knee. Like we just need more information and that prospect is going to need more information, which is going to cause them to search around the site probably more than you want them to instead of doing that thing that you want them to do, which is book a free intro. Okay. So really quick, I'll go through your website and then I'll come back to what I think would be a better practice here. So this website was built by my company, Kilo. Um, so it's obviously perfect. Um, but yeah, we've got like our, our programs here. We've got, so this is very typical story branding, right? So the best hour of your day, discover a tight knit community of coaches who are here to help cheer you on. Um, intro plan results. Those are your three steps. And then you've got like, Hey, we understand that you're busy. You're stressed out. You might be scared to start. Right. And then if that speaks to this person, then they'll book a free intro. I do always recommend that gym owners update this a little bit. Cause this is our very, like, this is our standard copy here. Um, so if you were like, Hey, discover a tight knit community of people who are busy and stressed out and our moms too. Right. So whatever that, whatever that, um, target audiences for you, I would just kind of update that for you. Um, we've got some testimonials here, which are awesome. You've updated these to your own testimonials because our websites do come with stock testimonials. Um, so that's awesome. So really, really good job there. Um, we've got a more info page that talks about pricing, schedule, drop in your program pages. Um, and then we've got your blog. You do have a call to action here, which is on, um, this looks like a mobile call to action, but we do have a call to action here. 
um, so that someone can fill out this form and then book a free intro, which is great. And then, um, you know, you have your free intro page that has a calendar on it. So what I would do instead of just sending people straight to your website is I would create a landing page that's Instagram specific. Um, so all it would have on it is no menu items at the top. It would just talk about you. It would look very similar to this homepage um, where it would say like, you know, a couple of steps to get started. And then it would have the form embedded in the middle of it. Um, I'll put a link to one that I think is really cool and um, you can kind of use that as inspiration. Our company does, we will, we will provide you with a Instagram landing page. So you can certainly do that. Um, but yeah, that's the, that, that'd be the main thing I would change there. So quick roundup, um, write some more compelling content that would bring someone in. So meet with your clients, ask them why they came and then flip those around and tell people why they should come here. Um, and then change your call to action here, but otherwise your branding, um, looks pretty good. And yeah, so hopefully that helps Melissa and we can do more of these. I'm sorry that this was 11 minutes long.